So, uh, yeah, since I'm doing a drilling operation, I don't actually need the extension, I guess. I like to use them because I always like to be ready to quick change it. No, I can't. I don't can't stand that shorter one. Don't like them that short. So, uh, there's not one in there. Got a hundred and two hundred things in there. Got to look to make sure you're not missing something. Yeah. So, where'd you go? I was looking at it. There it is. Thought I was. Okay. The one I want is going to be in here then, I guess. Actually, that might not be the one I want. But it should, this one here, since I'm putting it in the drill, it'll work just fine. Yeah. It doesn't work good in there because it won't lock in in that. I don't have no calluses to chuck down, to lock the chuck good, so my gloves will be my calluses. Guess I should put a little something on there. I'll just go down there and spray some WD-40 or something on it. That one's too empty. Oh, shoot. I guess I'll bring it with me. There's three cans sitting there. First one wouldn't had something in it, but it wouldn't spray. And this one, I pulled the lid, uh, the whole lid off. I don't want to get WD-40 all over the, the world here. I should have done it back here, I guess, huh? Yeah, I'll do it down here somewhere where I don't get it all over everything. Where? I don't see anything I, I want to spray. <laughs> At all. I'm... Uh, there. It didn't spray real hard like normal. It, it must be getting close to empty. Well, at least now I know what will happen when I do it. Because I may need to give it a second shot while it's driving. These are not the easiest ones to drive. I remember that. They got, they got a brown. It looks like stain. But they've been used. They, they have something brown. I think I'll just use that because uh, a good thing. I'm going to try to It'd probably be better to be down there. Help me hold it while I get started. And since that's on an angle, I'm going to have to do the old start. Come on. I'll do the start straight to the thing and then turn it. There we go. Yeah, I'd rather do that with the screw than run a drill bit trying to do it anyway. Well, that ain't helping me. Just aggravating. I'll try it with the pliers. Maybe they'll hold it straight. I don't need a lot of pressure on it. I just want to hold it the direction I need it to be held until I get it going. There we go. I'm going to say about right there. One thing I want to know is... Yeah, about right there, about right there. I'm just gonna walk. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I gotta get my punch and hammer it once. The punch that I want is in that other kit that I opened up and closed back up. You never can have them in the right place at the right time. 
That's the one I'm going to have to get out. Well, I can use the scratch all. It's right here somewhere. I'm going to still get to go get a hammer, though. Picking up stuff with uh, gloves on is stupid. Just stupid. Okay. Stupid hard to do. <laughs> I not, oh, there's my epoxy ball I made yesterday. That brought that to my attention. Uh, uh, what else fell? I know something else fell. I don't see it. Uh, well, I think a third thing fell, but I don't know where it went. My epoxy ball on my left arm. I've <laughs> got enough to do that job twice over that it's left over. I think it'll bounce. Yeah, it bounces like a rock. So that's that stuff's hard. Be interesting to find out more about it. Sometime we're enough time to play. Okay. Okay, now I want to be, I think about, about right there. That's enough right there, okay. bag holders and my phone holder drive me crazy again. I don't want to stop and mess with it so then I so I end up messing with it a thousand times. It takes a little bit of work to get that I was thinking about making it tighter like I was saying earlier. It takes a little bit of work to get that to happen so again I'm gonna put it off. Okay. Now maybe I can get it started. There you go. Well, it went right in real fast. Okay. It doesn't want to turn though. Like I was hoping. There we go. I took it all the way out and then put it back in the way, just straight up and down the way I wanted it. And worked is it gonna hit yeah it's gonna hit good there we go yeah well if i would have been using that uh have you ever seen one of these that's a ratchet and it also bends it's not real well made but it's uh it's kind of handy it's kind of funny, I was using it. Is that going to grab or did they? I was sitting there saying, oh, I think it worked good. Yeah, it did. See, with the drill, I can... It, for one thing, it doesn't spin as fast, but it doesn't have... A, well, it's plenty powerful to strip this out. Yeah. There we go. I was working 2000... Had a new job installing telecommunications equipment, and I was working with this guy. Uh, I want to say he was a, a Japanese heritage. I can't remember if he. Yeah, I think he moved here. You know, he was an immigrant, but he he knew. Yeah, he spoke English with a pretty thick accent. Yeah, and uh, anyway, he was. You know, he he. Uh, he was real young, so he wasn't real experienced with tools and stuff, but he was smart. He's, I don't know if he, I guess he just got out of college or something. And anyway, well, I say he wasn't good with tools. This thing uh, was always acting up on me, and it, and it completely just fell apart. Actually, I think, I don't know if I was using it or he was. I think he was. And he came to, it, to me, oh, I broke your tool, I'm so sorry. I said, oh, don't worry. Normally, I, I love my tools. Normally I'd be a little aggravated, not maybe, you know, 
kind of wondering if I should blame him or not, you know. But I knew this was a piece of crap, and I said, well, don't worry about it. It, was, it wasn't any good anyway. He said, well, I think I can fix it. You want me to fix it? I said, well, okay, if you want to. And uh, he was kind of having to wait on me anyway or something. I don't, I don't remember what the deal was, but uh, I was having to tell him. He didn't know what to do or how to do it, and I had to tell him every time. So anyway, that was something good for him to do. I figured he'd fiddle with it for five or twenty minutes, five to twenty minutes, and give up. He brought it back to me, and it's worked like better than brand new ever since. <laughs> and that was, of course, I don't use it all the time, but now that it works right, uh, actually, it may have broke once, and I put it back together and put, didn't get it back together just right. Could have been the key case, but because I didn't know how. But uh, anyway, hey, young man. Fix it up for me. And that is actually how you're supposed to do a punch. I, a lot of times I forget and I do a double tap. But if, when you, if you do a second hit or a third or a fourth, you're going to most likely bounce it around and you're going to have three spots instead of one. <clears throat> and if you're doing wood, then all you're doing is messing, making your wood look like crap. Making it ugly. That's... Uh, So I put it. I just got it going, and then took it all the way out. I was kind of learning as I went, because right? it wasn't working. I couldn't just tilt it; wouldn't it wouldn't work. I would have really tight, you know. But then I just started again like that. See if it works again. Yep. Oh, but don't leave the. I didn't mean to leave my pliers on there so, so long. I, I want it to be pretty straight. There we go, this thing's rocking. Yeah, once it goes through, don't do the drill anymore. Because this ain't no super strong sheet metal here. Oh, it helps if you put... Now, you know you can drive with these. They'll drive quarter-inch nuts. You don't need a deal in there. All of them, quarter, well, all these quarter-inch drives will do that. So if you're just like having to carry tools, you know, in your pocket or whatever, your pouch and you really, or your hands and you're limited on how much you can carry, and you need a, you know, a bigger one and a quarter, just carry this and a quarter if you want. It doesn't grab them, so it depends on the design. Like this one has a big chamfer in there. Uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't work quite as well. Let's see if I have one. Yeah, here's one right here. Yeah, it feels like it's grabbing it pretty good. Of course, I'm not putting any torquing down on it. But uh, used to work really well. Uh, old older tools, you know, back in the 70s, pretty much always worked. But uh, okay, I don't guess I need any more new holes. So I guess we'll take you out. It is amazing how everything turns into a way bigger deal than it starts out. Especially for me. I always have the talent for adding more tasks to the job. Oh, I think I'll do this too, and I'll do that too. And, or I'll do it in a, in a way that takes longer, you know. I'm thinking it'll be better. And maybe it is, maybe it didn't, but... <laughs> or you try to fix another thing that doesn't have to be fixed, but you want to fix it, and then it turns into a, you know, a rabbit hole. Of, you're down the rabbit hole. That, I guess it did go on there. Okay, there we go. I was wondering why it wouldn't fit in there. Oh, well, I usually don't leave the Phillips on it. I'll put it right back in there. There we go. So it really doesn't, yeah, it's not really meant to be on there, and that it will fit. At least that one will. Yeah, you know, these, that's why these weren't grabbing so good. Where's my magnifying glass? I'm pretty sure these were all American. Um, and I had no, I did not think that that dryer, well, I kept thinking the dryer was made in 79 to 83. So I didn't think there was a chance there was any uh, metric stuff on it. 
but turns out that uh, those screws, those big headed screws, now the quarter, the ones that have quarter inch heads, they're quarter inch, so it's got a mix, so, which is, I really can't stand when they mix stuff, and I've been seeing on, on, uh, my, I love to watch, you know, YouTube how-to videos, and, uh, I've been seeing, oh, there's another, that driver, I've been seeing that, uh, cars now are just a complete mix of, uh, American and metric, or American, you know, like, so-called American-made cars. I mean, they've been making the parts overseas for so many years. That was one of the first industries I remember hearing about that with, you know, like Ford's was half, three quarter, half to three quarters of them made in, of the, of the vehicle itself were made overseas. And, okay, let's put the WD-40 back. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> And no, Toyotas don't qualify as made in America. You know, and you want to know why? Because I just tripped on that. Because they, all the parts come from are made are from Toyota, and all the profits go back to Toyota. The whole one of the biggest po points of being stuff made in America is that, uh, yeah, it gives Americans jobs, but uh, the profits going to be spent and we well, used to be spent in America and that's what impacted the country the most that and all the manufacturing of all the parts the ones that, that wouldn't be made on site you know Henry Ford made everything there on his factory but after that it got year after year they got moved you know spread out more and more and more so uh You know, subcontractors. Yeah, I better not put much tools in my pocket. My pants can't handle the weight. Okay. I didn't mention that, but I love the, how you, these are those lids off of those folders, plastic folders, coffee things. You can just pour your screws out in there, and then when you're ready, done with, you know, you're done, you just, uh, just squeeze that thing and pour them back in there. It's like a funnel. Yeah. Uh, every time I go that direction, I, I start to trip on that the top part of that dryer again. I'm just going to leave this stuff like it is for now here. This thing is too big for that bag. I guess, well, you see, I've got... The, I have a bag that, that 18 volt came in. It also has a Sawzall in there. That's where I keep this kit. Uh, it used to be my whole kit, you know. And uh, but now I've got two kits, and I leave, I'm keeping that in the house because uh, everything I've seen about these lithium ion, lithium ion, lithium polymer batteries, I think those are lithium ion. Uh, they do not hold. They do not last long in the cold and they don't hold a charge well, what happens is they don't hold a charge well in the cold they go down and then that's what starts ruining them uh, it's letting them go down lithium ion yeah that's what I thought so uh, I'm just going to keep them in my room in the house <clears throat> so that's why I had to go going back into the house I'm out here in the garage you'd think that's where all the tools are but I have a good reason for that I'm putting stuff, some of it away because I don't have that. You know, I don't have any more room to set things up here. Okay, I'm gonna drink and think for a second. Now, if, when next thing that time this comes apart, hopefully I'll remember I put screws in it before I rip those out of there. And. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, I guess those legs are different because that's what they needed to try to keep it from rocking. If you get it in the right spot here, it doesn't rock real bad. So I'm not gonna. I was looking at that thing for a second there. I was thinking, oh, uh, I may need to change that. Okay. Now here's the fun part. 
that back laid down flat on the ground and I really I can't get gloves under there I don't think let's see maybe that side's not flat on the ground well, the fun part is oh yeah okay here's what I think I might be able to do my back is not up to that kind of bending all the way to the ground and picking up like that but I may be able to Maybe able to, I'm trying to figure out what to do with my tools. I don't want them in a bad spot that will get them hurt. <sighs> okay. I didn't want them over by that door in case, it, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's supposed to rain or not. I just didn't want them over there. And I didn't, and there's cold air coming in there. I didn't really want them getting really cold. Not that it's going to hurt the battery that quick, but uh, I don't like them being cold when I'm using them. <laughs> Okay, well, I better take that magnifying glass out of there. I'm fixing to do some heavy lifting. We don't want to break that. With these huge... With this power I'm fixing to exert. I used to be strong when I was young. <sighs> now I'm just tired. Okay, now which side? It looks like the only side I can really get to. I can't get both at once. But if I get down here like this. <sighs> that saved my back. There we go. Bend at the what bend at the waist but set in a chair. Uh, you know, I, I never could hardly do that bend at the knees thing. You know, and I when I was young and strong in my lugs, I finally kind of learned how to do it, but when I first tried to do it, I did, guess I didn't know how to do it right, and, and it would make me give up and shake, and usually make me end up straining my back more, make me hurt myself. <sighs> okay. So, yep, I could see that. I was looking at that ball bearing. I couldn't really show it on the camera good, because it's so small and all. But the ball bearing that, uh, and, and there's grease coming out of there. That uh, the ground, the grounding bear, ball bearing that goes in the back of the. It's in the previous all the, the previous videos where I was installing. That's that new bushing bearing. They call it a bearing. When you go to buy one, they call it a bearing. Uh, to me, bearings they either have, you know, rollers, ball bearings in them, or needle bearings in them. That's a bearing, and and that's how you had to do it back in the 70s when I'd go to buy a bearing. I needed, I had to learn the difference between a bushing or a bearing, or they would. Uh, you go to a parts house, they'd be. You say I want a bearing, they'd be looking up a, a roller bearing. If you say I want a bushing, then they'd be looking for a brass or whatever. Usually, it was always brass bushing. A solid piece of material that, you know, that they make them out of. So. Uh, now, I noticed that even uh, supply and manufacturing, even manufacturing companies, when you go on their websites, it just depends on what seems to be what mood they're in as to whether they call it a bushing or a bearing. So you can go do a look up for bushings, and you, well, usually you will get bushings, but you can look up. You may not find what you're looking for, some bushings, until you say bearing on the sorts of their page. Oh, yeah, I want to put this. Uh, this thing, it's got a real long sheet metal screw in it, and it used to hold it, you know, by the threads. I've got to get it back out so I can do it. I twisted the cord so many times that it doesn't know which way it wants to go. It ain't the way that... There we go. I guess it goes like that. Anyway, it's so long, it'll just kind of stay in there and hang on without the threads get and hold it on. <laughs> so that's fine. But it's to keep the, the, uh, can't see it again, huh? It's to keep the, uh, the vent pipe, you know, I, I just keep it from getting melted on the vent pipe. Now, not gonna hook up the vent 